Hello, this is how to fix error 6 on the OP901. So the first thing you will do is check your 5 pin home run cable. This is the connector cable that goes from the back of your 901 to the base. Run your hands to the cable and check for any dents. This will be an example of a smushed area, dented area, or any part of the cable that got snapped. If this happens, call or email sales at optimumscale.com and we could replace your home run cable. We have plenty of home run cables in stock. This could be and the most common reason for an error six. Next, you'll be checking for your indicator. Check for any damages around, make sure it hasn't been dropped. That could have caused your error six. Even checking the connector itself, if the wires are sticking out from the bottom, that could be causing error six. The 901, the most common thing we ship with it will be an S-beam load cell. These have a feature where they could be hanged with a weight hanging off of it or put a platform on top of it and be compressed. Either way you do it, the 901 should be able to handle it in positive weight or negative weight depending if it's compression or extension. Extension being hanging, compression being putting something on the scale itself. So make sure it's connected to the back of the indicator. Next, you're going to be turning on your indicator, press the on off button. And to try to enter into calibration, you're going to press the on off and set button at the same time for three seconds. Two, three. C01 should appear. Press set. So this is set to C1 with a two all on the right side. The two signifies that it's going to be in pounds. For most of our customers, pounds is what they're going to be weighing. So you can move it up or down, pressing the zero button. One for kilograms. And if you're outside the US, then maybe you'll keep it in one. But for us and most of our American customers, two should be fine. You'll press set to go to the next setting. C02. Two setting. You can now set the amount of decimal places. My 50 pound S beam could go to 0 0.01 pound of accuracy. If you have a 5,000 pound S beam, then your accuracy will be around one pound, which means you will have zero decimal places. For my S beam being very low capacity, I could go higher decimal places. So my case will be two decimal places. Then you have C03. So this is the amount of divisions or how it increments the weight. Right now it's set to one, but it could cycle through. So one, two, five, 10, 20, 50. Since I want it to be incrementing by 0 0.01 because I have 50 pound also, and I have 5,000 divisions, I'll keep it at one. So the meaning if it goes from uh, if it was zero decimal places and it was incrementing by one, it will 50, add one pound, be 51, and then 52. If this was set at two, it will go from 50 pounds to 52 pounds to 54 pounds. That's the amount of increment it will go. Since I have two decimal places, it will go from 0.01 to 0 0.02. And if it was two di uh, divisions, it would be 0 0.02 to 0 0.04 to 0 0.06. And if you have five, we'll increment by five. So in my case, I want it to be within one pound, one division. So press set. C04 will tell you your max capacity. So in this case, it's 50.00, which is correct. But if you need to change this, you can move left, pressing the hold button. And zero will increment the value. So I can make that to 51. 
and I can go left again. If I want to make this, let's say, to 100, press the hold, increment the number that's flashing, pressing zero, or decrement it by pressing tear. So that would be 100.00, if that was my capacity of my load cell. Mine is just 50, so keep it at 50.00. Now C05. So this is how it's going to look like if you're using an S-beam load cell and you're extending it. So you're going to be hanging weight off of it. When you're starting, put your S-beam where you're going to hang it. So you are now in your C05 setting. It's an example of how to do it on an S-beam load cell that is currently being hanged. Press set button, you'll see C50. Press zero button to increment to a one. And now you're gonna attach all of your equipment that you're gonna be using to hang. In this case, I'm using this equipment to pick up the weight. I will be attaching it to the bottom of the eye bolt. So now I have attached the equipment that I'm using to pick up the weight. Now you're back in C, you're still in C51. Now we're taking the zero weight with nothing on, nothing hanging from it. Press set and you'll see countdown. Zero point zero zero appears because I have two decimal places that I set previously. If you have one decimal place, you'll see 0, 0.0. And if you have zero decimal places, then you just see zero. Either way, press set. And now you're at C06. This is where you're going to be using your known weight. If you have a 50 pound S beam, then a 25 pound, which is half of the max capacity, is a good enough weight. If you have a 1000 pound S beam, then maybe 100 pounds should be enough, about 10% of the max capacity. The more weight is used, the better. You see C60 after pressing set, make that zero until one. Now you see C61. Now you're gonna be hanging your weight off your equipment. So I now have my 25 pound weight hanging off my S-beam. Let it stabilize for a second. With C61, press set, you'll see span. And now you can enter in your weight that you're just hanging off of it. In my case, 25 pounds, so I can move left, press and hold button. And up arrow, zero, to make that to a two. But you would type in whatever weight you're just hanging off of it here press the set button when it's stabilized my weight 25.00 appears in cal end that's good now very important step remove your weight that's hanging off of it if it's in compression remove the weight and if it's on the weight beams remove the weight Leave it on cal end, wait. There is now no weight on the S beam itself, and it still says cal end. Press the set button, and C07 appears. So, to save everything you've worked on, just Press the on off button just once. Just tap it and it should go to 0, 0.00. This is very sensitive because the cable in this small capacity load cell could pick up even the smallest amount of pounds. If you have a decimal place of zero, then you might not even notice a one pound fluctuation. So now add your weight and see if it's correct.
So now I'm just waiting for it to stabilize. So this is going to be a little bit heavier just due to the equipment. I have a weigh beam system. Make sure they're both connected to the indicator. And at a C05 setting, we're setting your zero calibration weight. So make sure nothing's on the weigh beams. If it's a cattle chute, leave it on there. Everything is supposed to be on the scale, leave it on there. With no weight on it, press set, C50, press zero to make it into one, and press the set button. It should count down, and we'll now see zero should appear. Because there's nothing on the weigh beam itself that shouldn't have been there. Press the set button. Now it is C06. This is where you're going to use your calibration weight. If you have 100 pounds, put it on the weigh beams. C60. Press 0. Button to make them to 1. And press set. Span will appear. And I'm using a weight of 150 pounds. Place the weight on, this, on the weigh beams now. The weight stable, press the set button. You'll see a countdown. And that's my weight, 150 pounds. You'll see Cal N, remove the weight from the weigh beams. And press the set button. C07 appears. You don't have to do anything here, just press the on off button to save and exit.